<laughs> I know, baby. Hey, everybody. Happy, welcome back. Happy to, I don't know. It's been a minute since I sat in front of this camera. Hey, everybody. Okay, so I wanted something fun this week. Something to get the blood pumping a little bit, but not in the worst way possible. I don't really truly want to be terrified. I just want to have a good time and maybe, you know, something unexpected. So y'all have been suggesting this movie for a long time. I avoided it like the plague as a child because why would a child want to watch a movie about a deranged toy? <laughs> I mean, I know many of y'all did and you enjoyed it and no shade and I appreciate your journey, but this wasn't for me when I was little, but now I'm grown and I just feel like <laughs> I'll be able to appreciate it now. The movie this week is Child's Play. I know we have a lot of horror series that we have only dipped a toe in, but I don't know if I can take an actual deranged killer tonight. I feel like I can hack this doll though. It came out in 1988. Obviously it's about a doll that is a killer. <laughs> I don't know, he could be the victim. I guess we'll see. <laughs> It's rated R. How did they do that? What is this about to be? <laughs> I got the strangler. Did he say the strangler? You've been running around strangling folks. You better drive off and leave the strangler. He's trying to lure you in there to strangle you. Oh! Play it yourself, strangler. What? Why are you leaving this trail of bloody garments to follow, like breadcrumbs? <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Chest. Get me if you're dead. He's hexing you. <laughs> no. <laughs> you need to catch up to him and ask him to take that back. <laughs> Don't you want to go in peace? Somebody to love. Uh, is your soul gonna jump into a Chucky? Cause that's deranged. If that's the premise. You see your salvation in the eyes of this toy? He is doing witchcraft! <laughs> the fuck? Why didn't you use your magic to escape the bullet? <laughs> you need to find him and kill him now. I'm sorry, but you have to stop this. You just gonna let him do magic? Wouldn't be me. If you were using your final breath to chant darkness, I would have to put a bullet in you. I can't be hexed, I'm sorry, but. <laughs> he was wearing the blood like lipstick. Was that part of the magic? <laughs> oh, that's Jackie. Oh. <laughs> These kids in the 80s were like, <laughs> I run this household. <laughs> I'm a grown ass kid. Where are your parents, baby? Boy, Honey bunny. Good guys say three different that things. thing is awful. <laughs> Nightmare. Oh, sugar plum. Mommy, wake up. Honey. I mean, I know this is precious, but having to clean that up. Wake up. I wouldn't love it. <laughs> Annie Camden. Seven, seven. <laughs> that show was unhinged, y'all. Happy birthday, pumpkin. Thanks. Charles Lee Raven, the Strangler, Can we please? It's his birthday. <laughs> oh no. Is that the Lakeview Strangler in that box? Well, what do you think? I'm a good guy to go with it. I know you do, Andy, but I didn't know about it until Mommy told me. I didn't know about it in time this month to save up for it. Mm. Damn, that's hard. Poor Annie. She can't ask the congregation to take a collection. You know, that's all that you wanted for Andy? Well, it costs a hundred bucks. Yeah, good guys A hundred fucking dollars? Y'all bleeding these parents dry. Who cares? Would you grab your person? Come on, we can get a deal on it. But I can't just leave my counter. Fuck that counter, girl. 
Although I guess you would be better off selling perfume than buying a strangler for your child. Well, is it a good guy or not? Does that fucking matter? It's for a kid. Who cares if it's real or not? They bring you and your kid a lot of joy. Thank you. How do you know the damn thing isn't stolen? Bitch, obviously it's stolen. Did you buy it at a Macy's? Don't be trying to do alley deals with an upstairs attitude. Fuck off, bow tie. It's my son's birthday. Mrs. Barclay, are you happy with your job here? I'm gonna murder this you. <laughs> Don't make me I'm set sure the that. strangler on you. This isn't groceries. Ugh, this story is devastating. <laughs> this single mom working so hard to support her child and give him a nice life. Good guy. And she accidentally I'm brings a demon I'm doll into the home. Oh, I can weep. <laughs> Eddie Caputo, reputed accomplice of Charles Lee Ray, has just escaped the Michigan Avenue precinct. Hey, time for bed, Andy. <laughs> can he get up and walk? Chucky wants to watch the nine o'clock news. Sure, he does. Under the you. That thing is just uh uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I couldn't let that be in my home. Even if it wasn't a demon. Abby, are you brushing your teeth? Yes, yes, Maggie. Oh my God, he does everything so cute. What? Chucky, you are sloppy, bitch. <laughs> you're not even gonna keep up the facade that you're a doll for a whole day? <laughs> Why are you snatching him? Turning the TV on and putting Chucky in front of it when I told you it was time to go to bed. Yes, girl, he's the strangler. Poor Andy. Not his character being maligned. This isn't fair. He's being called a liar to his face. And you shouldn't just shut your kids down. If he was lying, there could be a reason, and you should find out. <laughs> oh, oh, he loves that strangler. Ugh, I'm so scared for him. Like, what do you plan to do? Do you plan to get in a cab and show up at the police precinct? <laughs> and he's quick. <laughs> Have you lost the urge to strangle? Is it just revenge you're after? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Girl, if you don't carry that mullet into the other room and investigate, First things first, check on the nephew. Girl. You're not even gonna go look in on your nephew. How did that happen? Hello? Karen? Yeah. Who else would it be? Is something wrong? Uh, no. But you don't know. <laughs> Would you assume that somebody had broken in? Are you in? sure? You don't sound like everything's fine. No, I just had a bit of the alone at night willies, you know? Now would you stop worrying? Hey, listen, man, thank you. She didn't even check on your son. You're a real pal. Is he going to kill her, really? <laughs> I'm scaring myself half to death. How did he get up that high? That little bit of force caused you to go so far back into the window. Andy? Oh no. Andy? Why is nobody going to help her? Mommy! What the fuck? <laughs> Y'all just let this woman run through her house screaming for her child and say nothing? I'm so, I'm so scared. What's wrong? Where's Maggie? That doll is so big. <laughs> Miss Peterson's dead, Miss Barkley. What? Oh, Maggie. Oh. You feel so fucking guilty. You uh, got any idea what these are? He no. leapt off the counter, <laughs> flinging the hammer. What do you imply? You think her son did it? What would Andy be doing up on the counter, right? Girl, don't let him touch or question your child. <laughs> sure. Ooh, look at this, son. Huh? Get into bed. Yep. <laughs> I'd be like, get the fuck off my kid. 
I don't need your crazy ass trying to railroad my. What is he for? I don't know. Why are you treating Andy like this? Look, Miss Barkley, somebody made those footprints. If not Andy, then who? I don't know. And I don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, obviously, you're not gonna figure out that it's the doll, so just stop. <laughs> we will just wait for the next terrible thing to happen and then get to the bottom of it. You think what's so important about my sneakers, Chucky? You don't know either, do you? Maybe he knows all too well. Honey pie, you are really astute. Look at you go. <laughs> Detective cutie face. <laughs> go tell your mama. And the only prints on it are gonna be that little boys. But they have identikid in the 80s. You know where you give them your fingerprint. He could go down for this. You are talking to me. Chucky. Chucky, huh? Blue eyed demon. <laughs> His real name is Charles Lee Ray. And he's been sent down from heaven by daddy to play with me. Oh my gosh. Oh, this grown man in the body of this doll is manipulating this little perfection. He said that night he was a real bitch and got what he deserved. Oh god. Please say something so horrible. Oh, your mama's gonna try to give you an exorcism. You're making this up. But I'm not. Chucky's alive. Chucky's a dog. You don't really think that Chucky is alive, do you? But he is. Andy, stop it. I don't think this is the Please. way. Wouldn't the smarter thing to do be, can you explain to me how Chucky is alive? I'm sorry. I'll start making up stories. This kid is so emotionally intelligent. Thanks, Jim. Not him suppressing the truth for your peace of mind. This is why we practice positive parenting. I mean, I don't because I don't have kids, but if I did, I would. <laughs> you ask your child to explain instead of shutting them down and telling them what the facts are. Neither one of you got anywhere, except for now he won't trust you to hear the truth. You're right, Chucky. She didn't believe me. <laughs> ah! See? Do you see what you've done? This would be true even... Even if his doll wasn't really alive, he still would have learned in that moment not to trust you. And Chucky's only a doll, right? <sighs> yes, let me just impress my version of reality upon you until you believe it unquestioningly, regardless of what you see with your own fucking eyes. <laughs> I know you got too much going on. <laughs> you gotta put food on the table. It's very upsetting all around. He's getting you to ditch, babe. What kind of school is this? No hall monitors? His little outfit is so adorable. He just looks so cute. Daddy? Um. I have to go tinkle. Not a safe place for you to tinkle, little one. Oh, God. He has got all this. <laughs> well, at least you didn't expect my baby to walk into this meth den. You never could have prepared for this one, okay? Don't feel too bad. <sighs> Living rough. Pack is on. Large rat population. Large. You're gonna Sylvia Plath his ass? <laughs> Come on, we have to get home before my mama shows up. You need to hurry up committing this murder. I'm in enough trouble as it is. You're gonna run toward gunshots to rescue your doll? Chucky. That's really his best friend. Chucky. Wander a few hundred more feet, honey. Ugh. Babe, did you wait around long enough for the cops to show up? Do you have any idea why your Aunt Maggie fell out of that window? Mommy! Oh. Girl, they are trying to book your son for this murder. They were recording him? Well, He's a minor. Nobody believes you about Chucky. You hear that, Chucky? They're taking me away unless you say something. Tell me why you Don't display aggressive behavior, honey. <laughs> they already Come think on, you're a killer. Chucky. Hidey ho! Ha ha ha! Honey. Mommy, he's doing it on purpose. He told me never to tell about- Poor me! 
baby! Tell me! Mrs. Barkley, I'm from County General. I've seen more than enough. Maybe Andy should spend a couple of days with us. This is so fucked up. This is so sad. And you had to bring that stupid doll home. Can it feel pain? Burn its little fingertips and see if it reacts. Bastard. <laughs> right? Say something, damn it! Hi, I like to be hung. Wants you for a best friend. Yeah, sure. It never had any goddamn batteries in it! Justice for my little one. <laughs> She's turning that doll over like it's gonna lunge. <laughs> and it might, bitch, it might. Girl, get ready. He bucks. He killed your best friend. Don't put your face. <laughs> Y'all crazy with the things you do with your faces. <laughs> Just put them right on out there, huh? Talk to me. I said talk to me, damn it. Okay, I'll talk to you. Okay. 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 Can you imagine if somebody walked through the room right now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's going through with my idea. <laughs> but who knows if a demon in a taken body can feel pain. I said talk to me. <laughs> Girl, it's a doll. Ew! <laughs> ah! Girl, don't let it bite you to blood. No, throw it into the fire. Girl, get a poker. You let it run out of the building. This was mismanaged. <laughs> I know you didn't want to believe, but they just need to learn to trust themselves. <laughs> He's a quick little fucker. No. No. Oh no. On the plus side, you rocking those baggy neutrals. Very cute. Barking, what are you doing back here? <laughs> the doll went ape shit. Attack me. Got away. I took him home to my apartment. I was about to throw away the box that he came in when the batteries fell out. What are you talking about? Oh, I found out the doll was alive. See, I tried to throw him into the fireplace. I don't know. Good night, Mrs. Barker. You sound oh, batshit. But you're right. <laughs> I bought it from a peddler where I work. I'll start there. That isn't a good part of town to be in at this time of night. Well, do Mr. your job. You your description is that he pushes a cart and has teeth. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> I was wondering how he got the specific demon doll. Oh, yeah, doll. What about it? Where did you get it? Not enough. What else you got? That's all I got. No, girl, this is dangerous. You want a party too? Y'all are all just gonna stand around and watch this woman get assaulted. Where'd you get the doll? A sock! I put it on a toy store a while back. That's where I got it. Place where he said he got the doll. Charles Lee Ray died there. There's nothing there. It's an abandoned wreck of a store. Struck by lightning the night that Charles Lee Ray died. <laughs> yeah, because he was doing wizardry. Sorry you couldn't find anything to help Andy. What do you mean? We found a lot. You're not gonna mention the hexing yeah. still? Where did Charles Lee Ray live? Look, please, will you just get out of the car? Hey, just tell me. Will where you he just lived? disclose Don't you the hexing? Life depends on it. Chucky killed Caputo. That leaves you. That doesn't. Oh, please, listen to me. <laughs> not you doing your job. <laughs> already on scene. <laughs> How does this doll have so much strength? Is that part of the wizardry? <laughs> Ew! Animation Chucky is disgusting. <laughs> Chucky cut your brakes? Honestly, you got a pretty light. Wrapping that tiny little cut on your hand. Gonna get stabbed in the face. <laughs> the runny doll. Chuckster, <laughs> let it rest, babe. <laughs> what do you look like with a bullet in the skull? What 
the fuck? That's actually kind of cool though. <laughs> he was an artist. A little occulty and sacrificial, but not all bad. So, your roots are supposedly in voodoo. You're naked on bended knee. <laughs> Speak up. Why do you love drama so much? I learned a couple of things. His nickname was Chucky, and he spent a lot of time with this man. Now all we have to do is find him before Chucky does. I swear the 80s were obsessed with villainizing voodoo. It is so bizarre. <laughs> like how many movies Mommy, have I seen this in now? What do you think? The gree gree work? Only one problem. What? I didn't think anybody could hurt me. Last night I got shot. You know something? It hurt. Oh. It hurt like a son of a bitch had even bled. Refreshing. Why is that, John? More time you spend in that body, more human you become. Don't explain it to him. <laughs> He's just kind of body hop. Life in this body. Got me into this, you get me out. I didn't tell you to jump into a doll. You're an abomination. Good. You have to be stopped. Your own personal mojo, Doc. Broken leg? Oh, oh please. Shouldn't tell your customers where you hide things like this, John. Why is he so incompetent? <laughs> and what business do you have teaching the white man your ways? Look at what it gets you. You have to transfer your soul out of the dark into that of the first human being you revealed your true self to. Like Voldemort to Harry Potter. The fact that I was really alive. You can't take Andy. But I gotta go. I have a date with a six-year-old boy. You have a date with death. <sighs> Giving up the goods to the very end, John. That was a humiliation. <laughs> she is running <laughs> to get to the bottom of this shenanigan. It's just too little too late. Too late. What? Must see the boy. Let's get his soul into him like you got into dawn. What? <laughs> you hear me, girl. His heart is almost human. It's the only way through the heart. Okay. Stab the doll in the heart. Easy. Easy. Oh, poor Andy. This fucking asylum. He's a child. They have him locked up like he's Sarah Connor. This is fucking ridiculous. I can't take that emotionally, so I'm gonna shut down right now. Okay, next scene, we get it. Y'all fucking hate us. God. Ugh. You know, since the presence of the devil. Andy is clever. He got game for you. I don't think that's him. Mm hmm. Good job, sweetie pie. No, lock him in there. <laughs> Y'all can't protect me. You refuse. Sorry. Let me cover my own ass. <sighs> Ooh, how did you get here so fast? Oh, these scalpels. Oh my God, my baby's ready to fight. This child is everything. Nothing better happen to him. There you go, baby. Keep your back against the wall. Keep your head on a swivel. Don't let this motherfucker come up on you stupid. <sighs> okay. Okay, but um. Uh -uh. Don't sedate me! Oh my god, you finna get your Achilles slashed by a doll! Oh. <laughs> He's like, no, you can't see it! You can't do it! Ugh. Shock treatment? Oh my god. Oh, a lot of bodies dropping around this child. This is really awful. <sighs> god, okay. Poor, I mean Andy, baby, sweetie, honey, how will you ever recover? It's just so pathetic the adults always being two steps behind and this little boy having to do everything his goddamn self. Look, George. Stress me out. Some child left their doll on the elevator. Ugly doll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't get it for my child. How does Chucky make such a good goddamn time? Does he take the bus? 
Yeah, fish yourself a weapon out of there, honey bun. <laughs> you know yourself. <laughs> You'll be alright. There you go. Ugh. Andy ain't even gonna hide. Ugh. Sweetie. <laughs> We're smarter than a slip and fall. You are a better final girl than most of these adults, alright? You live, honey. You Y'all gonna run up and see this doll doing a blood ritual on your child. It's gonna be jarring. Prepare thine eyes. <laughs> Look at him. Look, it's a baptism. Y'all run faster. Why are we gonna stop to look and see what we already know? Andy, wiggle out from under that tiny grip. Girl, run at the fucking doll. Yes. Ugh, he is so bitey. <laughs> Let's not throw it, let's kill it, see? You play too much, detective idiot. Stick your hand. I agree. You know he's a wily little demon. Stop acting like you're gonna be able to run up on him. You're not as smart as Andy. <laughs> you letting that dog whoop your ass. Let him bite your throat again. Andy will defend. <laughs> he is so vindictive. Is that detective really out cold in there? He can't do a damn thing for us. Um, he's like, I've spent so much time fighting for my life and defending myself. Now I gotta save y'all too? Look at him, he is like, fuck you, Dolly. Fiber or something. It's not really catching a flame. That's good. Oof. I bet that smelled terrible too. Andy, you all right? Yeah, we dealt with it. My son handled it. Oh God! It didn't get the heart. It didn't burn his little heart. Bitch, can you listen to me for once? Oh my god, this would have haunted my fucking dreams for years in my youth. <laughs> Girl, are we this is a dumb game plan. Switch it up. And what is Mike doing? Why is he so fucking useless? Yeah, we're gonna have to leave Mike on the floor. Okay, but the heart. Ew. <laughs> he won't go. <laughs> I know, baby. Oh, it's gonna claw, crawl its way over. Call on Jesus, put a bullet in the heart. What the hell's going on? Oh, hey, hey. Are you still whining about that same cut? Thank Femoral, he ain't bleeding. The doll's alive. He almost got the three of us. I mean, it just looks like a burnt up doll that's been tossed around the apartment. We have no proof. Y'all should have got the camcorder out. <laughs> Andy said, don't bring that shit around me. <laughs> There's no way this thing's alive. Dad, is that cub? It's dead. <laughs> so vindictive. <laughs> I said, I just want one more body to take with me. Kill him! Kill him all! The heart! Shoot him in the heart! Oh. It bled a lot more than the other interviews. I thought he was going to give you a final fuck you. <laughs> that little doll is rude. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Yeah, I would have never slept again if I was a little. I'm watching this. <laughs> you leave me now? Yeah. 
<laughs> Nobody. <laughs> uh, y'all, we need a story quick. The little Andy is like, I told y'all from jump. I'm sorry that happened to your only friend. Let's go. We'll find you a real child therapist. Not lock you up in some fucked up grown ass Chicago gulag. What was that? <sighs> End of film. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> that was an undeniable good time. <laughs> like laughter and a, like a bit of genuine fear, <laughs> but mostly just a great time. I love the effects that they chose to go with. <laughs> Practical is always great. The claymation aspect of it was really interesting when Chucky did go into full strangler mode. And even the dollness, like when he was just the perfect little doll, that was equally creepy. That was a good one, y'all. That was a great time. Thank you for that suggestion. Um, I guess there are a lot of these. So if y'all tell me that they're good, maybe we'll watch some more of them. We have a lot of other series sequels to pick up on, but we can throw this one in the mix, why not? And I know there's a TV show of it now. Talk to me about Child's Play, y'all. If you watched it as a kid, please tell me, did it fuck you up? <laughs> Be honest. It's like, come on, it, you're safe. It did, it, it did, didn't it? That was so fucked up. As an adult, I just felt really sad for Andy. Watching that, watching that child go through that. <sighs> y'all know how I hate to see a vulnerable element left unprotected. There was nobody to look after his precious self, but <laughs> he took care of it himself. He didn't need nobody. <sighs> Anyway, talk to me about Child's Play, y'all, and I will see you soon.